Hey guys, so today I'm going to show y'all my settings for BCC Lens Blur. So let's get started. First, make sure you have the BCC plugin installed for this to work. This is what my clip looks like without the blur. Now let's add the blur. Now go to iris scale, add a keyframe, and set the value to 7. You can use anywhere between 5 to 7, but I usually go with 7 so the blur is more visible. Then change the value to 0 at your desired duration. So I'm just gonna repeat the process here. Now it should look like this with the blur added. It's not super obvious yet, but once we add brightness and contrast, it it will look way better. So it looks like this. So now, add the brightness and contrast effect. In the brightness settings, keyframe the value to 85 or 75. I usually go for 75 if it looks too bright. But as can you see here, I did 85. So again, just repeating the process and then bring it back down to zero at your desired duration. Now it looks like this, but again, I said it looks too bright. So I'm going to change the value to 75 because yeah, it's just too bright. <laughs> Now it looks much better with this setting. So it looks like this with the lens blur and brightness and contrast effect added. For extra effects, if you want the warpy vibe, you can add a adjustment layer over the clip you want to apply the warpy effect to. So what like what I'm just doing right now. And add S distort chroma. You'll need the sapphire plugin for this. In the blur lens section, increase the value. I usually go between 500 to 800 depending on the look I'm going for. Then in the amount setting, keyframe it to a negative value. Any negative number works. I don't really have a fixed one. For the last keyframe, set it back to zero. So as can you see right here, I'm just experimenting with the blur lens settings and I ended up going for 866 and for the last keyframe just set it back to zero. Now you want to easy ease the keyframes and do the graph. So it looks like this with this graph and I'm kind of si satisfied with that. And that's it. Now you've got a warp warpy lens blur effect. This last part is totally optional, 
but here is the final product so this is what it looks like with the lens blur and as this sort of chroma effect so yeah